Hello people in Scrapping World. Let's start off with a cute little kitty for good luck. Oh, hello everybody. I do not want to be here. Ah. Ooh, that was very rude. Well, that was the kitty cat and he said hello. Let's scrap something today. <clears throat> so, this is Scrappy. Happy's away taking a shower right now, so I thought I could sneak in taking a part of this little TV here. Let's see, uh, 2018 Sanyo. Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> so let's uh, ooh, take this little TV apart. It always starts with a little screw. Oh, that's too long. Forget that. Oh, I say no. Oh, get away. All right, so now that we're here, let's show you what we have. <clears throat> Let's see, la la la. So we've got these two little speakers here, and I always found that this was a downside to these kind of TVs. The speakers are underneath, and they don't really give you a good projection of sound. Also, a little uh, pet peeve here, I don't know about you guys, but you see these little buttons on the back? I don't know, that would annoy me, you know? If you're like me, you lose your remote sometimes and uh, you want to fumble around for the controls. <clears throat> so that came out pretty easily. You can see, I don't know if you can see that. It's connected by a little wire there. And the speaker too. It came out pretty easily. It's connected with a little mag. Well, all speakers have magnets in them. That's why they are pretty interesting. See if we can disconnect this. All right, perfect. There's a little screw here. Put them there. Oh, I don't want it to block anything. All right, let's see now. This little wire is fed through here. These little plastic pinchers to protect it. Make sure it can last a little longer. Well, it didn't last too long. It's a 2018 and it's in our shop, so there must have been a problem with it. All right. Got another screw there. That comes off pretty easily again. It's right there. Let's see now. Got this little thing on a spacer. This is held down by at least six screws. So let's get that out for you. Perfect. Okay, this one. I was impatient. Got to be a little patient when you're doing this. So the reason why we, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me through that, I don't talk loud enough. The reason why we pick up these slim TVs like this is we're looking for gold and silver. Usually you're going to find this in the control panel. We also look out for copper. <clears throat> we have a little asphyxiation with uh, speakers. One day we're going to make a speaker wall, hopefully. So let's see this. We've unscrewed it here. Unplug this and this. Unplug this and this. And let's see here. That's the wire that's connected here. So you got this little 
board. A heat sink here. Maybe this is a capacitor. These are capacitors. HDMI ports. Uh, VGA. Everything that's good, might. So we'll put this on the side. Um, let's put it over here. I don't know if you can still see it. All right. Now we can plug this. That wire's gonna have to feed into there. Let's see what is going on here. Some tape. Maybe I'm not on the right side for you guys. Here, you can see better like this. All right, one, two, three. So yeah, this is how you take apart a little Sanyo TV. If you've ever taken apart a TV before or you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them down below. Because we love your feedback and questions. Let's see. There. That'll be better. Let's put this little lucky octopus there for, for good luck. There you go. <clears throat> All right. There's a little bit of tape here. Okay, I'm not showing you from the correct angle. Just had to that up close. All right. So we've got most of the speaker components out now. As you can see here, with the control panel, volume, uh, input, and whatnot, you've got a little panel here with these nice little speakers. I'm pretty sure they work. They might not, but we'll test them. They'll go to the wall. To the wall with you. And now that John Snow's back, it would be pleasurable to serve at the wall. <clears throat> All right. All right, I see another hidden screw there and there. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to move Good Luck Octopus. I'll move this now, too. It's a plastic. I'll take this off now, get rid of it. Got a little spacer block of uh, glamus foam here. It's this little connection here. It's probably copper, but it could be gold. A very finite amount. I'll put that on the side. Oh, yeah. We've got those little screws. Let's see here. See if I can get this to work. Is there something holding them underneath? Oh yes, another couple of little screws here. Will this come out of this? No, of course not. You see, you learn on your... Uh, well, it's not the first time, but you know when, when it's been a while, or even on your first time around, you learn things like propping up stuff like this. All right, let's get this out. I'm sure actually if I do this, well, this, I can get this over here. Can you see it? Yeah. I'll move that. We all know we speak fluent sarcasm. Okay, <laughs> anyways, let's go. It's a little tiny screw. And that here. What else is turning it down? There's another one here. There's gonna be at least four screws. Well, I will say something that's well put together. 
I'll get it in there. No. Oh, no. Right. Get that in here. Should be good. Oh, you know what? There you go. We busted the plastic. We win again. The hardest thing is to center a drill sometimes. Wow. Alright, we'll move that out of the way. We'll pull it up even. It's not exactly the right bit, of course. We're gonna have trouble. It's always the last one. Okay. We'll just break that off for now. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, that's no fun. It's okay. Because I'll just do this. Right now. Let Pappy deal with it later. When I meet a screw that won't unscrew. I unscrew it differently. <laughs> Anyways, that's great. <clears throat> so let's see, can we finally get inside this TV now or what? Nope. It would appear there may be a couple more. Ooh. Maybe I hit it the wrong way. Is that possible? Nope. Hmm. Maybe I'm not. Yep, there you go. That's a lesson to all you. It's not even unscrewed. <laughs> to all you first timers. If it's not working, you're probably not pressing hard enough. Don't be afraid to break it. All right. I think I can get this little piece out here, which is interesting because this is actually gold there. All right, let's see what we can do. What can we find? Pop off now. There you go. Oh, that seems to be. Alright, we'll take this off for now. You can see a little bit here. You're gonna have a bit of gold here. So just see. Hmm. Yeah, some gold here and here. It's flash tons. A minute amount, but when you take apart a bunch of TVs, they all count together. It's a pretty little amount. <clears throat> all right, what's going on here? That should, that's perfect. That's plastic. Pretty much recyclable waste. Let's see now. Will this? I want to see it 
like this. I don't know. Let's see. Will it? Come on. There we go. I'm on the TV. We'd be ooh, a broken TV. I'm on the TV. <clears throat> Plastic in the recycling. Now let's see what we have here. Usually these things are in the uh, street and there's garbage because the screen is broken, but it would appear that this screen is not broken, it's intact. Although someone might have. I don't know, there might be a little crack, but that could have been from throwing off the balcony. Anyway, so we got the screen here. We're going to take these off here. A little minute amount of something. And put the screen on the side for now. And this is one of my personal favorite. I'll get the plastic out of the way for now. My favorite things about TVs. Is the interior component here is just the magnifying glass. You can even cook food with one of these if you're careful enough. So I'll put that on the side. Over here. You're going to have this other kind of paper between it. And oftentimes, what you're going to find, if it's not these little diode things here, it's going to be light bars inside of the TV. So you're not going to want to break it right away because there might be mercury inside of it. And if you're trying to salvage it for everything that is salvageable, then... You'll want to be careful with these things because they might still work. And you can do a little, uh, a couple of different interesting things with light bars like this. I know I have. Alright, so other than this uh, big piece of metal here, it looks like the last thing to take out is the light bar here. So we'll do that. Now, and try not to damage anything. It's glued down here nicely, and it's on a nice, uh, maybe stainless steel piece here that keeps everything together. And I thought that would be the last piece here. I'm gonna go for scrap by eight cents a pound. So, yeah. That was, uh, that was me. Scrappy. <laughs> Scrapping a little TV while Pappy's not paying attention. I hope that you liked it today. If you didn't, that's okay. If you did, you can leave a little like and maybe even subscribe. Alright, now, well, that was Scrapping a 2018 Sanyo flat screen TV. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.